What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Gamma team and their reworks. This is your Envoy video. We're going to start by talking about the unique gear that you're going to need for each of the four members that we currently have on the Gamma team. Uh, we already know what we need for both She-Hulk and with regular Hulk. The question is what we're going to need for Abomination and with Braun. You can see here Braun is going to need Palladium. And if we go to Abomination... You can see his, uh, his character model there just a little bit. Yeah, we'll go all the way through this. Let's see, yeah, because they, they go through, like, each individual gear piece here of what's what. And we'll pause that here in a second when they get to the basic Gamma Radiation. So you're going to need Gamma Radiation as well for Abomination. A lot of Gamma Radiation going to be consumed in this patch, not only... Do you have several members of Gamma using that radiation? You also have several members of BioVenger also using Gamma radiation. There's just not enough of it to go around. So hopefully we do get a bunch of it and events or something here because, man, we are going to be just consuming a ton of that to gear up some of these new teams coming in this patch. Um, but, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of here to talk about really the, uh, the changes to Hulk and the slight changes to She-Hulk, because there's like there's one change to her passive, and that's really it. And we're gonna kind of break that down here in the patch notes. So starting by She-Hulk, she's got some nice boosts to her stats here. Health has been increased by 29%, damage has been increased by 31%, armor has increased by 25%, and focus has been increased by 53%. The only things that have really changed is her passive. Now, she also gains charge now when an enemy attacks a Gamma ally, in addition to her or Fantastic Four ally. She transfers negative effects for himself, each Gamma ally, and each Fantastic Four and an ally to the enemy with the most damage. In War, gains 500% bonus focus for this action. It's a new bonus there. And then attacks the enemy with the most damage for 300% damage and all adjacent targets for 250% damage. So... She's she's getting she's doing a two tap basically with this, and then in war she's gaining thirty percent damage for herself, all gamma allies, and all Fantastic Four allies. So it's a nice little nice little boost there for war for her. Now Hulk, and this is this is where this is a very very nice rework to Hulk. I really like this, and once we go through the notes, we're kind of kind of talk about what the developers are intending with this Gamma team, so you guys know ahead of time what to expect with them. Hulk. His health has been increased by 18%, damage increased by 33%, same with the armor by 33%, focus increased by 72%, resistance increased by 61%. Very nice stat boost across the board. His health was already pretty good, but that focus and resistance was really kind of lacking, so now getting, uh, getting quite a bit more with this. His basic before when he's below 50% health, damage is increased by or damage is multiplied by 1.5%. If this character is now below 50% health or has charged, the attack gains 50% bonus damage. If this character has charged, lose one. So we are getting a charge mechanic now with him. His special before he would gain taunt, and then if any allies of wave one avenger gain three counter, clear all negative effects from himself. If his character's health is below 50%. He'll suffer 7,000 health and 20% of his of his max health. If this character is now below 50% health or has charge, attack the primary target for 500% damage, gains taunt, and if this character has any Gamma or Wave 1 Avenger allies, gain 5 counter. He's now healing for 30% of his character's max health, and he gains plus 1 charge up to a maximum of 5. So anytime he uses his taunt, he's already gaining a stack of charge here. So there you go. Perfect. His ultimate. Now, if this character is below 50% health or has charge, his ultimate now gains 50% bonus damage. On war offense, if this primary target has revive once, clear it, and this character gains revive once, this character can only do this once per match. If this character has charge, lose one charge. So, uh, this is... They they said that pretty much this is just kind of flavor thing, that uh, this is a callback to, uh, to Hulk and the comics, where he can revive, or I didn't quite follow their line of thinking here, but you know, this revive once clearing it and stealing it for himself, they said that's a callback to some stuff in comics. Uh, I haven't personally read those comics, I don't know exactly which comics they're referring to, 
But uh, they said that that was their intention here. This wasn't really to make them a counter to Dormammu. This was just to kind of add some more flavor to the kit for for Hulk and just kind of give a callback to the comics a little bit. And now on his passive. On, in war on spawn, if this character has three or more gamma allies, he gains taunt. When this character drops below 50% max health, fill speed bar by 100%, clear stun, gain offense up, and plus one charge. When this character drops below 25% health, he also gains plus one charge. So his passive before dropping below 50% and 25%, same thing as before, but now he's gaining a charge each time. When his enemy attacks a Gamma or Wave 1 Avenger ally, fill his speed bar by 15%. 30% armor for him and Gamma allies. If this character is below 50% health or has charged, gain 33% armor. So... <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, this is... What's really funny is he pretty much always... This is pr The way it's going to work is that he's always pretty much going to have the the armor here. Because, you know, he's going to start off above 50... Per if he's going to start out... Um, he's going to basically start out with his passive. Where he's going to taunt... Or his special. Where he's going to taunt here. And he's going to gain a stack of charged. So that's going to get a charge here. And then if he falls low on health well you know he gains charge but yeah i mean either way he's pretty much gonna have a 33 percent boost to armor pretty much all the time as long as he's low on health or has charge like you're gonna have that a lot with this character and while this character has taunt gain 1000 percent bonus resistance that is a counter to weapon x so this already on paper this looks like this team is gonna really kind of counter weapon x um because that 1,000% bonus resistance, he's not going to get ability blocked by uh, by Omega Red. He's not going to get the trauma on himself. So he's going to pretty much be taunting all the time. He's going to get all those counters. It's why I've pretty much thrown Skirmisher on my Hulk. Because Skirmisher looks really good here. Five stacks of counter. Countering a lot with this. Um, you could throw... Yeah, I wouldn't really do Striker on him. There's better, there's better options for Striker on this team. But yeah, this this looks really, really good. Bonus resistance, that bonus armor. Yeah, they're making this to be an Apex War team. Um, right now without Red Hulk, this is not top of the line. They cannot beat Dormhold. They cannot beat Darkhold in War. But that will change when Red Hulk arrives to the team. We don't know his kit, but they have made it very clear. This is going to be our new Apex War team. This is the new Weapon X team in a War. This is... This is what to expect. So this team is going to absolutely shred in war. Not as good outside of war. Um, you know, they're not going to beat... They're not going to beat Unlimited X-Men and Crucible. But they will also still be a fearsome team to run into in Cosmic Crucible. Not good for raids, but that's fine. We have Web Warriors as a bio team for raids already. So not worried about this. Uh, Braun, there's really not much to go over here. Abomination. Um, the one thing we did want to mention here is that uh, people were wondering why we're clearing defense up and applying defense down. We're not flipping because of the safeguards. Like, this is part of the counter to Darkhold, is that instead of flipping that defense up and the defense down, you're now applying defense down. He gets a lot of bonus focus anyways. So this is one where you're going to apply that defense down. You're not, you're not going to be flipping it. That safeguard prevents the flipping. So that is why this is not a flip. This is why it's two different things, clearing and applying defense down, two different mechanics there. But honestly, overall, what to expect with this team is that you are getting a very powerful war team. They said that this is a pretty strong team already without War Hulk, or without Red Hulk, excuse me. Um, this is going to be a strong team. We're going to be two and testing with it. But a lot of bio gear. A lot of gamma radiation, and this is something we're going to talk about with Bio Avengers, and basically another video dropping on patch day, just kind of talking about what to get ready for, like what preparing for the next patch, who you should be chasing, like should you be chasing Bio Avengers, should you be chasing Gamma, what what you should be doing to get ready for the Red Hulk Scourge, just kind of talking about all that in a patch video that's going to be coming here very soon. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this kit? Also, we do have to mention this. Uh, She-Hulk. They're not really changing anything outside of her passive because she's already very strong in terms of her abilities. Um, they said that she kind of fell off more because Fantastic Four fell off. 
and that the kit with She-Hulk already is still very powerful, you know, reducing speed bar, forcing taunts, stunning. She has a very strong kit. They just need to add a little bit more to her passive for war with the Gamma team. She she didn't really need a massive rework to her kit like Hulk did. But yeah, that's gonna pretty much pretty much be it here. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys like these changes? What do you guys think of this Gamma team so far? Let me know down below. But as always, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.